Absolutely. So, Jody, tell them your story. So, I was the athlete in high school. Football, baseball, soccer. I played it all year, summers too. So, I could eat whatever I wanted. And my <laughs> weight stayed the same. As soon as high school ended, the freshman 20 was more like the freshman 30 for me, and I never got rid of it. it was, that was my new norm. So you just kind of get used to it. And then you start powerlifting, and the weight goes up because you got to bring the weight up. And now your new norm's a little bit higher. Um, so I never, I, I'm the type of guy who smells spaghetti and gains three pounds. <laughs> That's me. That is me. I go on vacation, it's 10 pounds if I'm not watching. Um, so I was watching Pete just become this Adonis. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like hey, uh, give me the number. And uh, so I started Tricor. Um, met Chris in person one time. Yeah. Got the scale from him. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yep. The all tell scale. And because of COVID and our family situation, I got small kids and I didn't want to get involved in anything. I did everything at home. I never once stepped into the gym. And Chris is right there laid out home workouts. I mean, push-ups, sit-ups. Oh, go get some bands. I get the bands. And never once did I step in the gym. No, you did, you did it the entire never time once. from the house because of COVID. That's right. right. I forgot about that. Yeah. 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 Never once. 40 pounds later. Yeah. <laughs> nice, man. I went back to what I I think I was 25 years old the last time I'm yeah. at the weight I'm at now. That's awesome. Um, and I'm 56. Um, so it was just, and then it, what's so funny is you sit there and you do your, your uh, lay out your menu and you go, okay, I hit my, hit my numbers. And then Chris goes, you're a little heavy on the fat. <laughs> <laughs> but you tweet, I, it, it wasn't hard. Yeah. This whole thing, I mean, it's not difficult. Yeah. I mean, once you get, once you realize the direction and what, I mean, it's, oh, I got to walk more than a hundred steps a day. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. That it. definitely helps. <laughs> it definitely helps. You know, and I mean, it, so you get up and you put your steps in, you eat what you're supposed to eat. Yeah. And you put your 30, 45 minutes, an hour of workout a day and results. Yeah. And I, I ran through the blood work and, and did that. Um, but I mean, it really, once you, once you figure, once you hear what the real direction is, it's, it's, it's simple. <laughs> it's simple. <laughs> That's awesome, man. That's, I, I hope, I hope more people realize that too. It's like, we battle it all the time because there's so much misinformation out there. There's so much, mm -hmm. there's so much fitness and nutrition marketing that is just made to just, just sell people. And that's, and that's, that's not what it is to really, to really get what you guys are getting. That's not it at all. That we tried to really simplify it. And what's amazing is I, I now honestly, I have dieted more than I've not. Yeah. I mean, every single, the ketos, uh, Miami beach. I mean, you name the diet, I've done it. Yeah. And they all work yeah. to this point. Mm -hmm. And then you're just there forever. Yeah. And so I hit that point just like I knew I would. <laughs> yeah. Just like I knew I would. And I call Chris and I say, we hit it. <laughs> and he says, all right, increase your calories. <laughs> and I looked, <laughs> I looked at my wife. I said, guess what he said? He said to increase my calories by 500. And we're going to do that for a month and gain a little bit of weight. Yeah. And I did. I was, I'm like, okay, let's go, boy. <laughs> and, then, and then after that little 
uh, increase, he says, all right, now we're doing this. And then, man, it fell off the shelf. Yeah. It just dropped from, I mean, to the floor. Mm -hmm. And that's when it just kept going. Once I got through that little yeah. thing, it was just that's game awesome. on.